your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Happy New Year to you. It does look like we have some changes in store for us as we kick off 2013. A little bit of unsettled weather out there over the next few days. No all day washouts really in the forecast, but a lot of excess cloud cover will be around by the end of the week. We're going to dry out and get rid of all those rain chances and bring back the sunshine and give way to overall a pretty nice weekend. We still have to contend with this plume of moisture that's going to be settling in across the East Coast later on today and into tonight, increasing our rain chances, especially for the inland areas earlier in the day to the Grand Strand later in the day and into the overnight hours. Now, once the system kicks off to the east, we'll tack on a few showers early in the morning and we'll hold on to the clouds. But tomorrow looks like it's going to be a much drier day than what some of us will actually be experiencing out there today. Here it is on Futurecast. North and west of 95, seeing the initial areas of rain moving in through your backyard through the afternoon and slowly sliding its way down to the southeast as that front system continue to kick on through the area. But you can see by 7 a.m., most of the showers are moving out of here. A few isolated showers and some excess cloud cover still in the forecast. By the afternoon, though, the clouds still thick for us, but the rain chances have moved off the coast. Now, as we go Wednesday and into Thursday, another disturbance will ride along that front. That's still lingering off of our coastline, and that will also bring in the next chance for rain, especially more so for areas east of I-95 as we go through your Thursday. Most of the rain, though, and at this point, looks like it's going to be staying off to our east. So some good news there, but you can see through the afternoon and evening on Thursday, still the chance for a few showers before skies clear out for your Friday. Out there today, mostly cloudy and mild. A few showers late in the day for the Grand Strand, and we can't rule out an isolated shower, but most locations east of 95, fairly dry as we go into the afternoon. Hitting 60 in Surfside, Myrtle Beach, Carolina Forest, and Conway, 59 in Loris and North Myrtle Beach, even up to 61 in Pauley's and 62 in Andrews. You head inland, though, especially west of 95. The temperatures do dip down just a few degrees because of the increased chance for scattered showers through the afternoon. Hitting 57 in Darlington, 59 today in Florence and Marion, 56, though, in Laurenburg, Lumberton, and Rockingham with scattered showers moving in. They'll stay with, with us through the overnight and even push toward the Grand Strand. Otherwise, look for mostly cloudy skies. Highs around 50 degrees right along the coastline, mid to upper 40s as you head further inland. As we go to your seven-day forecast, rain chances are back on the rise late Wednesday night, more so for Thursday. Few showers out there, cloudy skies, still fairly cool. Temps will stay in the low end of the 50s despite seeing more sunshine on Friday. And by Saturday morning, we're back around the freezing mark along the Grand Strand before rebounding to the mid-50s with more sunshine straight through the weekend and even into the beginning of next week. Inland areas, you're going to be topping out in the low 50s for Thursday and Friday. Again, best chance for rain later on today and into the overnight hours, but drying out for your Wednesday. Thursday, our next chance for some showers out there before we're really starting to clear out and get back to those seasonal averages for those weekend high temps. Mid to upper 50s out there, but watch out on Saturday morning. Looks like our forecast lows will be below freezing and back into the upper 20s, but at least we're not going to be as cold as those low to mid 20s like many of us woke up to yesterday morning. So have yourself a fantastic first day of 2013 and get the year off to a fantastic start. Your latest news and weather updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.